A brief history of the mullet in cricket. The mullet comes in many forms. There's the scullet, the prelot, the mermullet, the fee mullet, the chullet, the tropical mullet, and of course the sports mullet. And who better to don the neck cape than our Aussie cricketers? Since it burst onto the scene in the early 70s, the moule was embraced by our cricketers as the haircut for all occasions. Being casual enough for the cricket field, yet formal enough for the after-match dinner function. By the late 70s, the furry neck warmer had grown into a fashion accessory and had become almost mandatory in the Australian cricket side. The 80s saw many greats wear the mud flap with pride. Batsmen, bowlers, wickies and even the 12th band were all members of the Moolisha, whose numbers continued to grow into the early 90s. Enter the mulleted maestro, the knight of the next spoiler, Dizzy Gillespie. Never was there a more intimidating sight for a batsman than to see Dizzy charging in. Determination on the face, fire in the mullet. Batsmen didn't need a side screen when they faced Dizzy. There was one on the back of his head. He was a man who broke many an achy, breaky cricket fan's heart by single-handedly donning the eighth natural wonder of the world on his neck for over a decade. From the start of the millennium, the number of neck blankets has been in rapid decline and now faces extinction. So for those who dare to dream, who like their short and long, we raise our scissors to you.